Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this Friday, October 11th, 2024. I have your host, James, here with you. And we're joined today by a couple of great people. We're going to be talking about the Wisconsin Rapids Area Sports Commission. We're doing that thanks to our friends at the Visit Wisconsin Rapids Bureau. We say a big shout out and thank you to them. More information on how you can find out about them in just a little bit. But let's dive right in and introduce our guests today. First, we have Nathan Plim with us, Marketing Sales Manager with the Wisconsin Rapids Area Bureau. Nathan, good to see you. Yeah, you as well, James. It's glad to be here. You're not here enough, man. We got to get you in the studio more often. It's I good agree. to have you here. We appreciate you. Uh, and Nathan, you brought in a good friend and a uh, an award winner here. We have uh, Mr. Dave Kantz with us. Uh, Dave is the head coach for the uh, Win at Wisconsin Rapids Swim Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dave has been a really great asset to uh, the not just us here at the CVB, but also the sports community, specifically um, the, the swim community here in Wisconsin Rapids. So we're happy to have him. We'll be putting Dave on the spot. I mean, asking him questions in just a little <laughs> bit. Uh, no, Dave, thank you very much for being here. Yeah, it's been a great, great opportunity to uh, to represent the swim club. And I listen to your show all the time. So I'm glad to uh, to be a part of it today. And Looking forward to it. We appreciate that, Dave, and appreciate you. Um, uh, Nathan, b- before we dive into uh, you know, the event itself, the details, some of the new things that you guys have added to it this year, can we talk a little bit about what the Wisconsin Rapids Area Sports Commission is? Absolutely. So for over 20 years, the Wisconsin Rapids mm-hmm. Area Sports Commission has existed here in our in our city. Um, and we, ha- we have some really great growth in the past couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the Sports Commission has always been an entity that is trying to build sports um, teams, facilities, industry here in our area. Um, and there's some really exciting things that are coming up from this group in the past couple of years. We updated our, our mission, vision, and purpose. There's a lot more engagement in the in the meetings in, mm-hmm. in recent years. Um, but, but yeah, basically the Sports Commission is looking to empower and expand the growth uh, uh, and community integration of, of local sports here in Wisconsin Rapids. Um, you know, we really focus on regional development for, for sports organizations, growth and, and success. Um, and we're trying to be that central resource or, or hub, if you will, for um, sports organizations, events, facilities, anyone looking in that space for information and help with whatever their initiatives are. The Sports Commission is here to help um, with those ideas. Mm-hmm. When, it, when it comes to uh, what sports is to society and to a community, mm-hmm. um, on, a, on a large level, on a small level, it has its place. And uh, as, as we go on here uh, in society, we're, we're seeing more and more how important and how big sports can be Mm -hmm. um for every one of us that love to uh take in every you know sport we can and and i'm a sports nerd i'll admit Uh, i grew up in a sports family um i i love winning and losing i love the scores i love the stats i love all of that but i think that when you get to this level of what we're talking about here it becomes so much bigger than wins and losses and uh championships and some of these things we talk about this a lot with a lot of the coaches that join us on our shows and everything. And Coach Paul, who will be coming up a little bit later, joins us uh, every other week uh, from the River Kings. We talk with our rafters uh, guys and stuff. And even on that level, there's this, uh, there's, there's an underlying kind of story to sports, and it's the human being and the human experience. Mm-hmm. And for every kid, and, and, and um, you know, uh, Coach uh, Dave, I'm sure that you can touch on this better than I can. Um, for every athlete you have come in there and becoming a swimmer, we don't know if many of them may go on and do Olympic swimming or continue swimming even in high school, but we do know that they can learn some lessons while they're doing this. They can learn sportsmanship, they can learn working with others, communication, uh, teamwork, so many life lessons that whatever they do in the future, those lessons will come in handy. They will have a place. Uh, they are able to learn these things through swimming, through sports. Well, it's not just the swimming piece. It's the real, um, the real event that they're coming to us. They're having a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. They're learning a sport, and they're competing. And what what you just said about not only winning, but there's also a losing factor of it. Mm-hmm. And we try to celebrate each time that they hit the water because if they get a personal best, well, then that means they've done their, you know, they've done what they're supposed to do and they've done their best. But, you know, it goes a lot further. Uh, As being a substitute teacher here in Rapids, I see the kids that are in sports are a lot more focused. They are showing the class on time. They're doing their homework. They have a, in some cases, in many cases, they have a good parental background so that the parents are on board with all of the activities that they do so we look at this as an educational piece, not only for uh, the student to become hmm. more of a, a citizen, mm-hmm. 
but it's also a recreational piece. Hmm. You know, as as we compete in other other communities, we're exposing our kids to Black River Falls, mm -hmm. uh, Lady Smith, Merrill. You know, other yeah. communities that yeah. we go to. Hmm. And it just gives them a, a better overall activity that we really enjoy with our kids. And when I see, when I go into, like I say, a, a middle school, I can pick out the athletes right away. Mm -hmm. Whether they're in track or bas bas basketball or if they're in the softball, I mean, right away they just have a, a look about them that is just a little bit above you know, what you're going to see in the normal students that might be around. Yeah, that's a good note. Thank you for that, Dave. Appreciate it. Uh, the Sports Commission, uh, Nathan, also me is uh, meeting quarterly. I wanted to uh, let the audience know about that as well. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So the Sports Commission is um, a group of, of local sports organizations, facilities, teams, um, people involved in the sports industry coming together, uh, like you said, quarterly um, to talk about things that they're doing individually with their programs and also what the sports community could use in terms of resources, help and support. Um, so very, very much uh, focused on collaboration and we would love for more people to become involved in those quarterly meetings. Those meetings are open to the public. Mm -hmm. Typically they've been taking place on the first Wednesday of, the, of every third month. So the next one coming up is going to be Wednesday, December 4th at 5 p.m. and that's held in the Lincoln High School Flex Room. If anyone's looking to get more information in advance about that they can reach out to me or the convention and visitors bureau um, and we'll we can give our contact oh, yeah. information later <laughs> we will definitely wrap up with that and great to hear uh not only that uh this that you guys meet quarterly i think that's a great mm -hmm. time for that but the idea of opening this up to the community and, mm -hmm. and and all are welcome to it and everything that's a really cool way to do this and and i imagine brings a lot of feedback a lot of data that you can use from that it, it does i mean we we what we do at the cvb we can't do it in terms of sports promotion and marketing, we can't we can't do that without the support of our local teams, facilities, partners, and the individuals behind those organizations. Um, we we rely very much on the expertise and uh, skill skills of of these sports leaders in our community, and that's what these meetings are all about: is engaging each other, sharing resources, and finding ways for people not involved in sports to perhaps get involved, um, find new opportunities, and and see what they can do in the sports realm. Let's talk about the award ceremony. Uh, we'll give you the details of when it's coming up in a moment. But first, let's talk about the awards themselves and what's new this year. Yeah, so so for, for many years now, the um, Wisconsin Rapids Area Sports Commission has been hosting the an annual MVP award celebration. Um, and the purpose of that award was to acknowledge individuals that demonstrate commitment, creativity, and dynamic energy toward um, growing sports here in our community um, and, and sports tourism. Now, some, like I mentioned, there are some exciting things happening this year specifically. So for the 2024 award celebration, the Sports Commission has added two new award categories in addition to the previous MVP award. Um, those two categories are Rookie of the Year and, and Lifetime Achievement. Uh, so we're really excited to have some more uh, options for, for the award celebration. Um, and I'm going to break down what those awards mean a little bit. Um, so starting off with Rookie of the Year, um, th that award honors a, a new leader in the sports industry who you know shows exceptional talent and dedication and um, is in their first one or two years of being here in Wisconsin Rapids and working with a local organization. Um, the, the Most Valuable Person Award, or the MVP Award, honors a coach, leader, manager, uh, or even a supporting volunteer who has at least three years of experience um, and active involvement uh, with, with their organization locally. And again, exceptional leadership, mm -hmm. dedication, and, and contributions to the sports industry. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, we have Lifetime Achievement. Now, uh, a Lifetime Achievement Award recipient is is very much recognized as having extensive experience mm -hmm. and and lots of um, positive impact on the area so this individual will have 20 or more years of significant lasting impact um, and again all of this is focused on the wisconsin rapids area so not just the city but our surrounding communities as well i've been uh, working uh behind the scenes for quite a while trying to get nathan to also add on to the list uh greatest sports host <laughs> of a local sports show yep. uh I, I, no reason no reason whatsoever not because i host playmakers at all um uh, in, in all seriousness uh, what a great idea to add these to this the mvp award is really cool and able and and wonderful but what a great idea to be able to highlight other individuals in our community 
community. One, certainly the people that have put so much time into this industry. Much like Dave, uh, a lot of our coaches are, are also teachers. Mm -hmm. gives us an opportunity to highlight that, to show the work that these individuals do for our community and for our kids. Um, but the idea of the Rookie Award is... It's got so many layers to it. One, mm -hmm. wonderful to highlight these individuals that are new to this area or new to the sports field. Mm -hmm. um, that's fantastic. That's fun. It's also an introduction. It's also another way to really introduce them to the community or to let the community know about them and the particular sport they're doing. And, and that's exactly what we're hoping to do with the uh, award celebration every year mm -hmm. is it's an opportunity for not just people involved in sports to learn more about what's happening or what um, has been accomplished in the past year, mm -hmm. but also for community members who may have no idea about what, what's happening in the sports world, learn about all the great opportunities in Wisconsin Rapids. I mean, we have sports that that people don't really associate with central wisconsin everything from um you know baseball and softball to swimming to curling to um you know all all these different sorts of organizations we're really grateful to have um such a variety here in central wisconsin and uh certainly all of this uh, that we've touched on is really important and uh it not, it is also worth noting that uh what sports bring in econ economic wise uh to the area and our area has flourished in many ways uh because of our sports and vice versa because of the community supporting these sports there isn't a whole lot of communities that have a, a local uh, baseball, uh, two local baseball teams, a hockey team, along with all of the great high school sports that we have and high mm -hmm. school activities that we have. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Central Wisconsin is really blessed to have um, so many different facilities and a variety of those. So, you know, from from golf for all levels of play um, to a beautiful Rapids Area Sports Complex, being able to host more of those regional and statewide tournaments, um, even to things like the Southwood County Rec Center and, and hosting the River Kings and mm -hmm. our hockey teams and, and other events, different utilizations of that facility. It's it's awesome. I didn't even mention we've got a great curling club, right? A, yep, a stone's yep. throw away from us here and everything. <laughs> we have so much great sports in this area and mm -hmm. all of it uh, not only is great and fun activities, but also the economic impact that it can make. And, and that is certainly noteworthy when it comes to this conversation too. Absolutely. Sports and recreation um, coming to Wisconsin Rapids is crucial for economic impact and the economic development of our area. We, we're Because of our central location we and our affordability here in Wisconsin Rapids, um, we, we're really a prime destination mm -hmm. for tournaments, games, different organizations to bring their events here to central Wisconsin um, and, and support our local economy by bringing those people in. They're putting people in hotels and, and other lodging properties. People are coming for a sports tournament and then going out for dinner and seeing a show. You know, they're, they're experiencing more than just the sports game, and that's what we're here to help with. The largest water ski show tournament in the world is here. <laughs> you know, I mean, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. We, we really do bring a lot to this area. And in, being in central Wisconsin, we're pretty much two hours away from anything. Exactly. So if you're a school in Madison, if you're a school from up north or something, having an event here, it, it, it makes sense. It works out for all teams and everything. There's a, a lot of advantages with this that sports are able to take advantage of uh, in our area and really highlight. Uh, it, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. When it comes to these awards, do we know who uh, won these awards yet? Do we have the individuals named yet? Yes, hey. and we are very, very excited to be announcing these. Um, so for um, the, the Rookie of the Year, the 2024 Rookie of the Year, Award um, is actually our very own Dave Kuntz with the Wisconsin Rapids Look Area Swim Club. In the studio, <laughs> even. How about that? No. Yeah, yep. So um, Dave is our Rookie of the Year Award recipient. Congratulations, Dave. We're, very congratulations. We're very happy to. Um, you know, be able to recognize all the great work that you've been doing the oh, past thank you. Uh, yeah, year or two. We're just in our first year, so we're starting our second year, school year with uh, with the kids, and we had uh, tryouts here last week, and we have 17 new families to add along with our traditional 35 swimmers that we already have. We had four state competitors last year that did a fantastic job with us. And we uh, were involved with uh, a number of cities here because we actually have a full conference that we have anywhere from Tomahawk to Black River Falls and all parts in between. Real quick, so. want to mention Dave. You, uh, Dave is uh, head of the Wisconsin Rapids Swim Club, the Kraken. Uh, we didn't get to mention that. So just uh, for the audience to know what you're talking, referring to there, sir. Oh, and, and, okay. and again, congratulations yes, for thank that. Thank you very uh, much. It's been, been great to be mm -hmm. recognized by the community. And we are part of the rec department. Mm -hmm. And they've just done a fantastic job for us. And we, we've now formed our own parent group. So we are a, a traditional 501 3C organization mm -hmm. here in town. So we have the rec department handling our registration fees, 
uh, coaching salaries, those types of things. Mm -hmm. And then our parent group is all behind us with the activities that we do uh, throughout the school year. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Dave. Uh, you were getting into a bit of the details of uh, what, what you, the Wisconsin Rapids Swim Club is and, and uh, the different conferences and some of that stuff. So please continue with what you were saying. Oh, there. okay. So we're part of the Central Wisconsin Swim Conference. And it's an organization that, oddly enough, started right here in the Port Edwards YMCA Wisconsin Rapids uh, probably about 40 years ago and has been evolved now into probably 10, 12 teams, Rhinelander, Rice Lake, Merrill, uh, Medford, Bloomer, Eau Claire, Phillips, and even Ladysmith all have all have swim teams, but some of them, you know, are real small. Mm -hmm. They're not as large as we are, but there are some clubs too that are in the 80 and the 90 area. So once we compete with our district area and our conference, we join together as the Northern Lake Aquatics Club, and then we compete against the rest of the state. Mm -hmm. And oddly enough, NLAC won the regional meet last year at the Fond du Lac, and then we went on to uh, swim you know, with our age groups. Mm -hmm. We are an age group uh, type of team. Mm -hmm. So kids swim against their own age group. So we have eight mm -hmm. and unders, 11 and 12, mm -hmm. uh, 13, 14, and then the seniors. So there is, um, uh, it's not like you're, ha you're putting an eight-year-old against the right. high school right. kids, yeah. you know, so they really get a chance to do that. So Very cool. Uh, and uh, what a, a wonderful program for the kids and, and also certainly for, uh, our, you know, the parents and everybody involved in this. That's a wonderful one. Uh, Dave, you also teach uh, here at Lincoln as well. Yeah, I do. I, I bought a place out in City Point mm. and moved up here and I sat out there for a couple of years and thought, you know, I got to get back into this. So right uh, I, I um, applied and now I'm a substitute teacher throughout the district for Wisconsin Rapids and Assumption. So I get to see a lot of kids. Uh, moved here a couple of years ago, and uh, I got a my background in swimming is mm. I did the same thing, you know, okay. age group swimming through the high school. Mm -hmm. made, managed to make it to the Minnesota State Meet and the NCAA tournament when I went to Stout. Well done, nice. And then got a chance to come here and teach. Mm -hmm. And then I've been in the Milwaukee area for about 20 years, and I have two children that moved up into this area. My daughter is a fourth grade teacher for the, the school system mm -hmm. here, and my son works for a local industry, a manufacturing industry. Cool. So I decided to come and thought I would bring my talents, and uh, here we are. A uh, thank you to uh, you for that and to the kids uh, for, for the work that they're putting into the community and everything. We appreciate you, Dave, and congratulations on the award. Very well earned and deserved, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Um, we'll get to you. Uh, we'll wrap up with you and, uh, as well, Dave, of how people can find out more about the crack and, and some of that. Uh, Nathan, I wanted to touch on the other award winners and certainly the celebration itself in the last couple of minutes we have here. Absolutely. So um, for our next award, the Most Valuable Person or the MVP Award, uh, again, going to a coach, leader, or manager, um, a supporting volunteer with, with three years experience. I'm, I'm very happy to announce that that person is Paul Peckman with the Wisconsin Rapids River Kings USPHL hockey team. Um, Paul has been such a pillar in our community for a couple of years now and, and he really has been instrumental in not only opening up opportunities for his, his hockey team players to move on to the next level but also he is really really community focused mm -hmm. and um you know the river kings are out at tons of community events yeah um he paul is teaching these guys how to not just be good hockey players but to be good humans and yeah. and that's essential in the sports community um so congratulations to paul and yes. and the river kings um very well deserved like i said pillar pillar of our community and river kings are are very much valued by the Wisconsin Rapids area. Coach Paul will be joining us on Monday. We'll be uh, talking to him, putting him on the spot on this one. I'm going to talk. I want to know his speech. I want to talk with him about that one. <laughs> I, uh, he's a great, great individual, a wonderful asset to this community. And what uh, he brings to the community is bigger than hockey. It, it really mm -hmm. is. We appreciate mm -hmm. him. Uh, and we got another award winner, too. Absolutely. So our last award category, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, again, an individual that has had a significant lasting impact. Um, and this year, we're, we're happy to say that that is Bob Galitta from yeah. the Wisconsin Rapids Public Schools as as his base, um, his time as a baseball coach. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to Bob. Um, he has a lot under his belt in terms yeah. of uh, success stories, not just as a teacher at Lincoln High School for over 34 years, but 
also um, as as a coach. You know, he became ba uh, the baseball head coach in 1994, winning four conference uh, championships, eight sectional appearances, uh, all during his tenure. And you know, he he's been inducted into the Wisconsin Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Uh, that was just last year in 2023. Um, and and there's so much more that I would love to share about Bob. We could spend a whole show right, on right. Bob. We could spend a whole show on him. Uh, we yes. appreciate oh, we appreciate you, Mr. Galetta. Uh, he's still Mr. Galetta to me. I still got to call him. Uh, we appreciate you, sir. And and, and a great choice for that award. Uh, yeah. All great choices. All great things to go on for a, a wonderful event. When is the event happening? What are the details, Nathan? Absolutely. Um, I did want to mention real quick that all these mm. nominations came in from the the community. So these folks that you're um, hearing about receiving these awards, we receive those nominations for each of these from community members and their peers. And we're really excited to be honoring and recognizing them on Thursday, November 7th at Bullseye Golf Club. That event is going to run from 6 to about 9 p.m. Um, it's going to have some really great chances for networking and a cocktail hour hosted mm -hmm. by the Wisconsin Rapids Rafters. Um, and we're excited to be introducing a little bit of entertainment this year for the first time yeah. at this event um, by the Lincoln high school jazz band That's so awesome. you know connecting schools connecting sports and it's really great um but yeah so the events we're going to have some hors d'oeuvres you know so, uh, soft drinks desserts there will be a cash bar available um reservations are required for the event and the cost to attend is going to be 25 dollars per person uh there there's going to be eight seats to a table and attendees have the option to uh, rsvp individually or reserve a table and what we're doing uh in hopes that we get some more more folks there um if you if you reserve a table, you can get one seat free. So oh, um, nice. yeah, what, just one seventy five for the whole table there. Save some money. Um, bring your friends, family, all the supporters you can for Wisconsin Rapids area sports. Um, our SVPs are due by Wednesday, October twenty third, um, with the name and number of guests in in your party. Um, and people can reserve uh, a spot for the event by calling the Wisconsin Rapids Area Convention and Visitors Bureau at 715-422-4650 or sending me an email at marketing at visit wisrapids.com. Fantastic, man. We're really looking forward to this, Nathan. Thank you again for the time and all the information. Absolutely. And, and uh, uh, Dave, uh, Coach Dave, I, I did want to uh, well let people know if they, if they uh, have questions about the Kraken or want to know more about the swim team, is there a way to reach you? Yeah, the, the rec department really is, is taking care of our registration pieces. Mm -hmm. And you can call the recreation department at 715-421-8240. Perfect. And then, or you can go to the, their webpage, the recreation webpage, or you can go to the uh, uh, Wisconsin Rapid Swim Club Facebook page as well, and we have all the information listed there. Excellent. Our community is that much stronger and better because of the individual works of you guys and so many of the people we mentioned today. Appreciate both of you. Appreciate all the conversation. You guys have a great weekend. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you as well. Sir. We want to send a big thank you to Pam Hilke and the amazing scheduling she does week in and week out, too. We appreciate you, Pam, and appreciate all of you, the best listeners in radio. We'll be back next week with more Midday Magazine right here at 97.5 FM, 1320 AM, WFHR.